Hey everybody, Ann here. Whew, I've already gotten started early this morning. It's going to be a busy day. I'm in the process of putting the little baby chicks in their pen. I've already started a load of laundry, and that's going to be fun. Yes, I can't wait to get it done. And um, <laughs> while the buckets are filling with water, I'm sawing down wood. So I'm multitasking today. Big load of laundry. I'm going to get the washboard out for this one. I'm washing some of my hoodies and some long sleeve shirts in some jammies. Getting ready for the cold weather. I'm going to take this plunger to it in a little bit and use the uh, washboard and get these things all nice and squeaky clean. There's the pretty babies. Oh, I wish they weren't in the shade. I don't know how well you can see them right now. But they're getting big. Look at that one. Look at that one. Oh, that's flame. Rocky too, and Patty. <laughs> Look at Patty. They're getting more and more feathers. I'll be glad when I can get them out in the van. But yeah, I think uh, Patty is the only hen. I'll take a closer look at them later today, and you guys can tell me. That's a good boy, Papa. Boy, am I beat. I started at 10.30 doing this laundry, and I'm just now sitting down and letting it dry. I didn't even wring it out twice. I just did it once. It's pretty sunny today. I have my favorite jammies right over there, and all kinds of like winter clothes type stuff, fall. Um, that's that oversized, one of the oversized hoodies. That's the other one that's lined. And, I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. Um, I need to get a clothesline set up. I'm going to bug on me. Uh, so they'll dry more efficiently. Um, I just didn't have the energy to do it today. I could actually set it up underneath this canopy, but I'm not going to be keeping this canopy up all winter long. Um, I don't know. They'll dry on the fence for right now. That's just fine. But uh, that, I, I tell you what, doing winter laundry is much harder. So uh, I've got about another load of winter stuff I need to do, but um, I'm not going to do it today. I'm just going to watch my chickens for a little bit and um, figure out what else to do. Now, this is the last piece I need to cut, and it's off of, you know, the bigger, bigger end of the log. And I've been turning it, and I've almost got it, but I'm not even... So I've got another idea of how to get this to finally crack open. Let's see if it works. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know because this won't go down all the way. And when I start pushing it, this is going to roll up unless I can apply pressure with my foot. So I'm going to do that, but I don't think I can film it at the same time. I don't know. Maybe if I put that there, it'll work. I'm just so gosh darn tired of fussing with this log. So oh, let's do this. Just as I suspected, it rolled up, so I put it so that a flatter side is over here, and hopefully I've got that lined up correctly. I'm just going to see if I can get this to split. Oh, please work. Oh. No, I'm going to have to back that up because look at that. That's too close. That was too long, so I'm trying this. Oh my gosh, this is just unbelievable how hard this is. No. You know what? Forget it. Just forget it. Okay, I'm standing in front of it, applying weight. I've had to turn this log a couple times. Oh, it's starting to go. Oh, please. Oh, I gotta put this phone down. I'm just gonna boot stomp it. Oh! At last. Actually, what I did, took it off the wood splitter because I couldn't get it to do what I wanted it and I just put it back on my little thingy here saw just a little bit more and I heard it crack and I thought you know what I'm just gonna boot stomp it I boot stomped it and it came apart and this is the last piece <laughs> and I am done splitting wood for a while oh thank goodness for this thing right here though I just gotta tie it Ooh. 
Just think of how many times I'd have to swing an axe to accomplish this. And it just goes right through it. Oh. Love it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those like that. Ooh, chicken food. Y'all, I am done for a while, at least for a week. I am beat, my body is aching. It's 4.30 p.m. and I have not stopped. Well, I stopped one time today. There's Papa. Hey, Papa, what you doing? He doesn't care. He doesn't care about my magnificent wood pile. You know what? I'm giving up. I'm giving up. No, I'm not. I put the tarp over it, and just as I was walking away, it all tumbled down. So, uh, apparently I'm not stacking it correctly, so I'm just going to move that over there. Covered up. I found an extra tarp. It's not a very good one, but I've doubled them up, so they'll be fine. And call it a day. Let's take a closer look at these chickens. That's Patsy. You know what? I keep calling her Patsy, so I'm just going to call her Patsy. My mom wanted me to call her Patsy anyhow. Patsy, definitely a hen. That's Waldo right next to her. Look at the pretty feathers on his chest. Look at that comb. What do you think? Let's see if we can zoom in. Oh, where'd you go, Waldo? Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. They kind of like to stick together. That's funny. So there's Flame. He puts his head up. Look at that massive comb on him. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, chicken. Big old comb. Look at that. One next to him. Look at. They both have massive combs. Okay, then over there. The barred rock. Rocky two. Massive comb. <laughs> Massive, massive comb. And then the one right next to it, also a pretty big comb. And all of them share the other characteristics that I've read. Indicate a rooster, which is slower tail feather growth, slower feather growth as a whole. And see, this one's hardly got anything on his back. They're starting to come in, but Patsy has most, most of her feathers. And look how little her comb is. Can you see? Waldo, there is a very small chance that that's a hen. But I tend to think not. All I know is each one of these are unique. This one still looks like it's got some barring patterning to it, but I'm not sure. Look at that. Those weird feathers starting to come in like little prickly prickly things but uh, yeah so this one here flame definitely has to be a rooster can you imagine how beautiful it's gonna be when it grows up and Patsy too oh my goodness I think that they are just all gorgeous chickens no matter what you know um, I am kind of hoping that that barred rock is a rooster um, there is the potential that it is a hen because it grew uh, feathers pretty quick, tail feathers pretty quick. So, I don't know. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. What you doing? What are you doing, you guys? What's up? You having fun? Yeah, you've been out all day, haven't you? Just look at Patsy. She is so cute. Papa's beat too. Poor boy. When I'm out doing stuff, you know, with the wood and out on the yard and wherever I am, he's out there with me running around, my trusty sidekick. And then he goes over and finds Pooch and plays with Pooch. He is just the best dog ever. Yeah, I think it's time to change this shirt. What do you guys think? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.